created in partnership with the community of B Corporations. Skateboarding is just rootsy. Where it's at is on the street. It's the hardest skateboarding is within the skater. A normal skateboard is made with seven plies of maple, sprayed down with uh, oil-based lacquers, and decorated with oil-based inks. The Comet board is uh, comprised of bamboo, FSC harvested hardwoods, and we use water-based coatings, water-based inks, and we've got a strong biodegradable skateboard. Comet Skateboards was based in Oakland, California, and we'd have to be transporting hardwoods from the Northeast to California. Around 2005, I read a paper by a professor at Cornell University that talked about a soy-based resin that can work as a replacement to fiberglass. When I realized that there was a potential for this resin to go into skateboards, I contacted him immediately. So within months, we ended up uh, moving the facility to Ithaca, New York. So it's a huge commitment to developing regional supply chains. When we showed up here in Ithaca, it's a small town and people started hearing about a skateboard factory showing up here on Cherry Street and these two guys, Ira and Arlo, stopped by one day, you know, just to suss out what was happening and see if they could get jobs here. The Ithaca Journal had an article on Comet, so I was like, huh, that's a pretty cool company, huh, that pretty cool company is in town. It's a cool job. So it's, it's great, I've been getting to know a lot of the local skaters and once in a while I get to go out and skateboard with them. We put a lot of thought into how we can interact with the community with Comet Skateboards. We're trying to uh, construct Oakland's uh, first uh, skateboard park. We're supporting events like the Hood Games, weaving together art, music, dance, fashion, and skateboarding. The first one was out in East Oakland. A couple thousand people show up, pack the street. It was just like an incredible event. And now being in Ithaca, it's been a fairly quick transition for how we could actually interact with the community here. We've been able to use a lot of our offcuts and scraps for chips, for compost piles. I'm using the sawdust in the buckets in a composting project, making compost on a farm and feeding that to chickens. We definitely think of ourselves as being a good business. And of course, a, a large part of being a good business is being a good neighbor and trying to offer something to the community. We actually have a commitment to businesses being a force for positive change, and that commitment is actually legally binding for us. We've actually written it into our corporate charter. It says, you know, we're going to never put profit ahead of people and the planet. Business can be a force for change, a positive change in the world.